You're a single mom from Senegal who just moved to New York City. You work as a nanny for a wealthy family. It might be making you lose your mind, but this job pays way more than being a teacher back home, even if it means leaving your little one an ocean away. You miss your son more than anything, but this is what you need to give him the best life once you bring him to the States by his next birthday. But being a nanny isn't easy. Your new boss is an overwhelmed and overbearing mother, and her husband has a taste for exotic women, and neither is concerned with paying you on time. These people. And then there's a little girl, Rose, sweet and lovely as her name, but games of hide and seek can go a little too far, especially when she is encouraged by Anansi the Spider, trickster hero of African folklore who's leaping off the pages of your storybook and onto her walls. And Anansi isn't the only figure who's appearing, the others seem even more threatening. You don't even know what's real anymore. Are these dreams? Visions? Visitations? Whatever they are, they're dangerous. You almost drowned once and could have hurt Rose in another. And the worst part is, the chaos makes you feel further and further from your son. It's hard to FaceTime when you're trying not to die. Will they get you before you can be reunited? How can you stop then? How long before you get pulled under the tides and drown in the madness?